What's up you guys? My name is Kiana and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how I do my um, clean, sharp edges for my eyeshadow sometimes. <clears throat> so I recently posted on Instagram a little look that I did um, and it had like blue eyeshadow that was in like this curved, sh like clean shape and then um, white liner around it. So I'm going to do this look using the same technique that I did with the other look. Um, but this one just ended up being like little stormy clouds under some lightning. So <clears throat> if you want to see how I do that, um, what brushes I use and kind of the technique I use to approach it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to do the like super clean... I'm gonna do like a lightning look, but to do the super clean, um, like bordered eyeshadow, I first take like a flat concealer type brush like this. This one's a ABH number 18 brush. Um, so I'll take something like that and I'm gonna show y'all with, I'm gonna do a black eyeshadow. So this is the By Melalops Radioactive Palette. I'm going to take the shade Toxic, which is the black one. And I'm just going to very, very lightly um, tap my brush in there once, like that. I don't want to pick up a lot of the eyeshadow because you'll get fallout and when you try to like wipe that away, it'll end up kind of like smearing on your face. So you just want to avoid that. So I just take a very little bit of the eyeshadow and I start by kind of stamping the arches in or stamping in the shape. So I'm going to do that right here. Kind of like that and then I will shape it a little bit more and you want to limit all of the product to the very tip of your brush um, and so once I have that like that I'll just take whatever is left on my brush and start kind of placing the other the rest of the shape until I feel like I need more eyeshadow Okay, so this is like my little cloud. You can see the lines are really, really clean. This one looks like it has a bump because I have a little pimple there. Um, that's starting to go away. But yeah, I like doing it this way because I don't get a lot of um, fallout underneath my eye or anything like that. But I also don't have to go back and clean it up with concealer, um, which is something you can obviously do if you want your lines to be super crisp. I prefer spending the time to do it a little bit slower and not have to clean it up later instead of doing the whole look and then having to clean it up afterwards. I find that more frustrating, especially if you're using darker shades because then they kind of mix into the concealer and make this weird color instead of just being a clean line. So to do under <laughs> my eye, this is going to be kind of funny, but I take my brush upside down and I'll do the same thing. I'm trying to make sure like I'm not blocking the view and I just stamp the eyeshadow in place this part is kind of hard because I'm just trying to do it like so you can see on camera without blocking it I really like this palette because of how pigmented it is um, I don't have like my concealer on my eye isn't wet and I don't have like an eyeshadow primer underneath it, but it still looks really, really nice. But now what I'm going to do is take the rest of the eyeshadow on my brush and just like blend in so that the shade we use next to blend it like into the center of my lid has an easier time, especially since this is black. But you want to be careful that you don't like get too close to the edges and take away pigment and that you also don't um, smudge them. Okay, it's a messy blend, but what I'm going to do next is take the shade, oh, this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Palette. I use it all the time, and I'm taking the shade Naked, this one right here, and it's practically the same, almost the same color as my concealer, a little bit more neutral, I think, and I'm going to use that to blend in the rest of this, blend in, blend out the rest of this eyeshadow. I'm tap taking it on an Anastasia A3 brush which is a similar shape to the first one but it's a little fluffier and then I'm going to 
blend out the black. And I like that the shade's a little more cool tone because I feel like it fits the look with that like grayish tone since we want it to look a little stormy. Okay, that's one clean eye done. I'm going to do another like little cloud in here um, and then the liner and some lashes and I'll be back because the tutorial is just on how I do this shape right here. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it and you want more tutorial style videos, just let me know in the comments below and also leave a comment how you're handling social distancing. Are you enjoying it? Are you an introvert like me and having a good time or do you miss your friends? <laughs> um, if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and then you can also follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at kiana mitchell underscore anyway i hope y'all loved this video i am doing a really good job of doing videos every week i'm really proud of myself thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in my next one bye